Hi everybody, it's Carol with Free Spirit Arts. This is video two, no, three. <laughs> uh oh, we may be in trouble. They're all starting to run together. Um, the last we let off, we had put all of our papers in our little book here and realized they were exactly upside down, which happens. So uh, off camera, I just took them all apart. Um, actually, all I did was take this out, turn them around, put it back in. It took me five minutes, but I didn't want to fuss around with it on video and take up that kind of time. So now, and oh, while I did was, um, while I had that out, I did sew a couple things. I sewed that. I sewed up just an edge on there. Up just random. That we already did. This one. Figured while I had them out, I might as well, right? So now is the time when we start thinking about ephemera. So I know I want a pocket in here, and these came with this paper. They were free, and it's a put-together envelope, or fold-together envelope. You just print this part out, and then you fold it, and there you have it. So I love that it fits right here on the edge. I love that. Do we want to be able to put things in there. Yes, I say we do. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and glue that in. Don't overthink it, just decide if that's what you wanna do and then do it. Okay, now Put it down right here. We can always glue this piece, this back part on later if we decide that that's what we want to do. If there's no cards, journaling cards screaming at us, we can sure do that. Okay. Done. Now, there's more ephemera in here that we can look at. There are some beautiful butterflies and things for fussy cutting for later. I won't do that on camera. This would make a beautiful side tuck somewhere, wouldn't it? Let's look. I really want to cover up this white paper. I don't care for it at all. Can you see how that coffee that we sprayed on there took on took the edge off of that? And you can always put more on. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Lots of butterflies, huh? Oh, we need to cover that up. I wonder if this would be a good spot for that. Oh, oh my. It's exactly perfect. So what do we want to cut it off? Do we want to cut this off? I really like that. We may have to forego the... You know what I want to do? I want to actually give it a little bit of a gusset. So let's fold this edge in. Let's fold this edge in. Nice to be able to use up all the edges 
of the papers that you trim off. The other day I was thinking, wouldn't it be fun to get a paper pack and make a journal with it and also at the same time video the process of using all the scrap. Because I'm a little concerned that we're not going to be able to cover all of this paper, I'm going to go ahead and freshen these edges a bit in the event that the gussets that I folded have taken away some of the height, so we might not be able to cover all of this ink. Looks like it was a print mistake or something that I had that I saved. By no me. Okay, let's look. Oh yeah, I like that. We can move that down a little bit. It's not going to be... Yeah, okay. I say yes, let's do that. This is still Elmer's Clue. Good old Elmer's. Don't do it upside down. I do think that Elmer's is giving me a little uh, more time to play with things, I've noticed. I think it is. So we'll put a big fat journaling card in here, sideways. Okay, what else have we got in our bag of tricks? I really like that stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. We still have this to make. Let's make this. Allergies. They're here in full regalia. Got a honeysuckle bush outside that's blooming. I have uh, lilacs in full bloom still. Peonies getting ready to. They didn't get killed in the snowstorm we had a few days ago. The Saturday of Memorial Day, we had not just a skiff, we had snow on the ground. I actually had a wreck up my road. Somebody was trying to pass somebody, I think. That's what it looked like. is bothering me. Let's just turn it brown. Now we'll put some glue on it. Now I'm making this very simplistic. You could put lace on this. You could put, oh, there's no end. It, it, you're only limited by your imagination. So if you're not pressed for time and you really slow down and just enjoy yourself, there's just no limit to what you can do. Okay, I'm not loving that. 
So let's see where else this pocket can go. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? We could do that. We could do it here too. Well, let's keep looking. We could display it on this little page right here, but that takes up writing space. What about here? What about here? I'm deliberately letting the <clears throat> distress ink, excuse me, distress ink get a little dark and go a little fur further in the inside because when I get done with the edges, I'm actually going to smudge it around the inside. This envelope's, I think this envelope's a little small for this page, so I'd like to do something else with it if we decide that that's what we're going to do is put it in here. And I don't like the white. You know what? I have a scrap that I saved. I saved this from a die cut. Wonder what would happen. go ahead and dig out my pink and see what this is actually isn't pink it's um, fire brick um, I saved these when I did the die cut because I wanted to see how they would do as stencils I mean really all that it, that's all it is, is a stencil. Once you tear the paper out after you've cut your die, right? And I'm sure everybody that's been at it longer than me is going, Yeah, Carol, we know that. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Let's see what this looks like. That looks a little more cozy. What else could we do to this page? Let's see. Do we have some lace? Do we have a little, just a little chunk of, just a little, just a little something, something. sweet isn't it and then we can put a big card in there too what do you think although it might need to go the other way no no yeah no yeah no yeah this looks like it's got some somebody's attached it to something before I got to it Well, that's a heck of an idea, isn't it? Hmm. Now, do we want it loose or do we want it to... I don't think I want this to go in and out. It's just too little. But I don't mind. Let's see. Let's try it both ways. Hmm. I like it that way. I like it both ways, but I can't be here all day, so... Just decide. Just go for it, girl. Go for it. I 
This is such good glue. I'm just going to kind of dot it like this and rub it a little bit and I'm going to get one edge and then I'm going to see what I need from there. And I might let it hang out the bottom just a tad since it's got glue on it. Just a tad. I'm going to pull this over. And cut this edge. And I could have done it before, and it would have been eased, made it a little life a little easier. But whatever, it's done. It is a good idea to have a pair of scissors that you don't really, really value a lot to use for stuff like that. These are not one of those. These are actually kind of spendy. I should have used my little kid scissors that I have over there. Okay, so now I can just do, let's, let's go ahead and use this glue for this as well because um, it's going to be partially on fabric. And this glue is especially good for fabric stuff. I feel like I'm running off the page. Let me see. I don't know if that's going to help or not. We'll see. And then we have a tuck in there, and then we'll put something in here. Awesome. That's adorable. Okay. This really turned out cute. I really like that. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind if we had another tuck this way. A card that way and a tuck that way too. Um, I had some other die cuts that I found we might want to play with. These are from some dies. You don't have to have these. Of course you don't. But use what you have. If you have a piece of lace that you'd like to put in your journal, do it. Now if I put that on a corner, that would make a beautiful well, that's cute, isn't it? That would make a beautiful little corner. Hmm. I like that. I don't have one to match the back, however. We could put one of these, or you could make one of these, too, to put this book belongs to. That's really cute. I think I'll distress it and use it. And put my lid on my glue. That's really thick. What did I make that with? Pretty lattice, isn't it? This is paper on paper, so I think we can get away with just straight old glue. And I don't think I will cover up the the um that edge because i might want to tuck something in there and i don't i like this layered look i like the white and then the journal and then the stitching and then the brown i like that so i'm gonna leave that whoops whoops, whoops don't get greedy okay So are you catching the drift? So this is what this is all about. You can spend days and days and days doing this. I mean, really, where where would be the end to it? It's, it's just until you feel like, oh, okay, I don't want to add anymore. 
This is another die cut that I made, but it could very well be the branch in a journal, I mean in a magazine that I saw and cut out, you know. I have a lot of those too also. Hmm, not sure I love that. Kind of looks like it's trying too hard. So, I'm thinking instead of you just watching me think, which has got to be a little bit like watching paint dry, maybe we should cut this video just a little short and suffice to say that if you've gotten this far, you're well on your way to being a journal maker. Look, that's sweet, isn't it? Or this would be even better. So these are the kinds of things I'm going to do. I will do a flip through of the journal when it's done. And I will actually put it at the beginning of this series. So that you know exactly what you're getting into. So all of these little things will be done. And I will have decorated it like I want. And have a completed finished journal. Including... Maybe we could, I could show you how to do this. Let's do that. Let's do that really quick. So you could just do a really simple closure and wrap it with some sari silk or a big piece of lace and don't add anything at all. On second thought, I don't think I want to actually do this on camera because I don't want to mess around with this while I'm trying to uh, I won't be able to flatten the book to, to push on it to glue pages down. These are little latches I got at Amazon. They're Tim Holtz latches and I love them. There's a post that goes on this end and then the back and it's there's a back comes with it and it screws under the post so the post is really firm right here. You just punch a hole in it and put that post in. And then what I do is punch a hole in this. And I use a hair tie and just loop a slip knot kind of at this end. And then it comes over the post. Very easy. But you don't have to do that. Um, several of the journals that I made initially, I didn't do that at all. I just used a wrap around. Uh, closure and they're beautiful and they're fine. Okay, so I'm going to stop right here so we, I don't just ramble on. But I think I accomplished what I wanted to. And I hope, hope it's helpful. I really just wanted to put together a simple journal so that people starting out weren't overwhelmed and they could see that without a ton of fancy equipment and, a, I mean, you could print all this paper off for nothing, really other than your printer that you know you could you can make a really nice journal so i hope you're liking the process and if you like my page